We think if we go out and get cold and we get a little snivel, that's it. You know, it can cause sinus irritation, but not true sickness. There's a hundred different viruses that contribute to colds. And actually, the true, the true virus, the hard one, influenza, is the one that will really take you down fast. And it comes on fast, and it's accompanied by temperature and a fever and very achy muscles. All right, so if it's not the weather, mm -hmm. what is it? Well, I mean, what are we doing that mm -hmm. make us sick? Researchers believe it's close proximity to other people that transmit viruses and bacteria. So you so need to be So during the winter careful. times, we come a little closer. We spend more time indoors. We're exposed to each other more often. Exactly. And so we get also, sick. I believe as a nutritionist, diet and stress contribute greatly to that. Yeah, and we're going to get to that right here because you have brought a, an entire pile of sugar cubes here to make a point. What happens in December? We eat a lot of We eat a lot stuff. of sugar, a lot of white flour. Candy, we're just grabbing stuff off the uh -huh. plate, yeah. Plus there's amount of stress and expectations during the holidays. So you want to be very careful. There's a lot of studies on pH balance of the human body, whether you're too acidic, you're too alkaline, and people can actually test their own know, acid alkaline in their urine. That is very interesting. Yeah, you brought this, and this actually tests your pH balance, which mm -hmm. could determine what you can and cannot eat. Yeah, it, it, is, it started around in the 40s and 50s, mm -hmm. and now there's several books written on acid alkaline balance. So. All right, well, Grandma always told you and Mom always told you, you know, you want some chicken noodle soup, Danny, because mm -hmm. you've got a little cold? You're telling us that's not an old wives' tale. It's not an old wives' tale. In fact, a scientist out of the University of Nebraska, here's some chicken soup, and Steve Rennard, he actually did a study on chicken soup and the anti-inflammatory um, factors for that, and it actually works in the respiratory system, working with the white blood cells. It is true. It is true that chicken, in all cultures, chicken soup is eaten, even Nairobi. Did you bring tofu soup as well? Well, actually, this is miso. It's a fermented paste from soy, mm -hmm. and this actually is very alkalinizing in the system when you're acidic, and so that will help you if you're starting to feel something come on. My patients, they swear by it. Miso. Miso. So, any Asian restaurant. And if you don't eat chicken or, or meat, you can go with the miso, miso which, is, which is vegetarian. And of course, you brought all these remedies here, the Theraflu, the cold medicines, the vitamin C's. I would imagine these help. Everything is different for different people. Now, VIX just came out with an actually an antibacterial foam. It lasts for three hours on the skin. First time ever, so that's interesting to see. So you There's just use things. it like to wash your hands? Mm -hmm. To wash your hands and when you're out in, in public. Mm -hmm. The big thing is keeping your hands clean, not rubbing your face because things are transmitted through the nose, the eyes, and if one person sneezes, mm -hmm. about 15 um, foot radius, you can vapor droplets right into you. So keep away. Yes. Very, very and good advice. Grocery here. stores. Now, the grocery stores, I got to tell you, most of the grocery stores these days are catching on. They are. They're off, just like cruise ships. Before yeah. you eat, before you go in, make sure you do your grocery shopping. How many people before you have touched the carts, children? Yeah. And then the most important thing, they're really realizing that sleep during this time is very important for your immune system. Everything's about the immune system. The most important thing is sleep? It is sleep. We're all in trouble. <laughs> here seven on the, to eight hours. Here on the morning show, we are all in trouble. Seven to eight hours. Yeah, yeah. And for teenagers, nine hours. Really? My goodness. All right. And of course, obviously, eating the good foods is going to help us as well. This is the, the primary. Fruits. The yes. primary. The fruits and the vegetables, again, very alkalinizing. Um, bell peppers, persimmons, um, kiwi, actually higher in vitamin C than oranges. Mm. So as a nutritionist, you always want to look at your diet first. All right. Kim Ruby, thank you for reminding us all these things, and we're all going to try and get some more sleep as a result, I think. Yes. Sleep, <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of eating, a lot of sleeping. Good eating, <laughs> good sleeping. Should be okay. Thank you. Kim Ruby, thank you so much. You're welcome. All right.